Hey, hey everybody, how's it going? Seagull here. And today we are starting Injustice Gods Among Us. And I've played this game a bit. Oh, I can say without a doubt there are an infinite number of universes. Some are just like our own, but for each are two significant events exactly the same. But for one or two, did I say that? Lex well, Luthor. <clears throat> Alright, I've played this game a bit. I really, really enjoy it. I've actually learned a bit about DC since I've played this game. And, yeah, we're going to enjoy this epic adventure together. Alright, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you've seen the trailers or you've played the game yourself, it seems like most heroes in an alternate universe go crazy and basically dictate the planet because of what happened to Metropolis. <clears throat> and I don't want to go into too much of that. The story will go through it and... Have jolly good times. Metropolis destroyed. Millions dead. Explosion in downtown Metropolis. Millions dead. A threat. That guy's in the way. So many stunned faces. <clears throat> Try not to cough. I might be getting sick. The new. Where'd you get it? What? You want one? Get away from him. I'm handling this. Damn. You drugged me. Make me. Lois. Listen. Where's Krypton? Now Metropolis. People you love tend to blow up. Tell me that. Joker. Planted nuke. To uh, make boom. Superman sad. That's why I like you, Superman. You're much more gullible. See, I never think that, because Batman, like, in my mind, is, like, the one hero that will never break that one rule. Like, ever. I think it's impossible for him to do it. Ah! I don't... I don't, I'll criticize the Joker in a minute. It's not criticizing, he actually does a good job. That's what a, ugh, I don't like Superman. If you like, I just don't like Superman and I'll go to that later. Damn. Alright, uh, what was I going to say? What should I start with? Joker? Let's start with Superman. The only reason I don't like him, like him as a hero is pretty cool, but I think he's just ridiculously overpowered. And I don't understand how he stores heat vision and cold breath in his body at the same time. But that's, that actually is just, just different story in general. Well, that's a hero I like. Green Lantern, he's pretty cool. Superman's cool too, I just think that he can do like so many ridiculous things. <coughs> Come on, Green Landon, you can't hit him. Oh. Does. Okay, I was gonna say, does that close? Shazam, I like him. I don't know why. I don't know a whole lot about him. I just like him a lot for some reason. Hot Girl's pretty cool. And that's Ares. I never knew Ares was a DC villain. And Aqu okay, I, I won't ruin anything because I have played a bit of this game. But I have a newfound respect for Aquaman because of this game. Because everyone criticizes him and is like, oh, he's useless. But I actually like him in this game. And I like that villain right there. 
Doomsday, even though I know nothing about him. Other than the fact that apparently he killed Superman. And a few of the Teen Titans. Actually, I think these are all members of the Teen Titans. Nightwing, Robin, Raven, and Cyborg. I think, I think the voice of Cyborg is the same voice as like the Teen Titans show, which is pretty cool. <coughs> and Nightwing. I think it's the same voice as uh, Robin and Nightwing from uh, Arkham City, which is also cool. Dick, yeah, it's one well, that's the Robin. I don't know how Batman does it. It's like, whoa, whoa, I see this little wire down here. Don't open the door. How? <laughs> All right, time to fight. Deathstroke um, is this villain's name, but I learned something about him that I found to be amazing. Um, if you watch Teen Titans, there was a villain called Slade, who I thought looked like him, but they didn't call him Slade, so I was like, oh, it can't be him. And it is. I think Deathstroke is his villain name, and Slade is his real name. And I learned that in this game. Bartman! Alright, I've played this game a bit, and there's this pretty cool thing, like these environmental attacks that you can do. And Hugo Strange is the background character, which is also always neat. And it's actually pretty neat, because you can throw stuff, you can freeze them. And then there's these things called land transitions, where you get to knock your enemy into something like this. They, they vary. Like this one's Scarecrow, which is pretty neat, and it does a significant amount of damage. And this one is probably my favorite one. Come here, come here. PIG! And that is all. Aw. Uh, but you can waste them like so. Alright. Let's show some uh, fancy moves. Grapple hook. Batman can glide. He can throw stuff. There we go. <coughs> Another thing about this game. Health carries over. It's not like round base where... Oh, you won this round. Your health resets. Which is better. And there we go. It's it's pretty... Actually, I can't... It's good if you're winning, but... I don't know, I think I like it more than round system. The land transition. This one is Killer Croc, Penguin, Two Face, and Riddler, I believe. It's cool to see these guys. They're not, they're not like actually playable characters, but it's pretty interesting. Like they get a little honorable mention, I guess. I don't know about Batman's moves. What's he got? Slide kick, Batarang. I did that. Sky grab. Okay, so I guess the only one I officially haven't used is that. Nifty. I'm kind of hoping uh, Deathstroke will leave her. There it is. Wagers. <coughs> you basically get to uh, wager. I probably lost this because I wagered all mine. Yeah, he did too. Whoever wages more, like the defender can get health back and the attacker can do more damage if he wins. But it like wastes that bar which you can use your super attack or breakers or many other things. Oh, snap. Doomsday. And his watch is gonna get right back up. Oh, maybe should. I think Shazam can do significant. Yeah. <coughs> oh wow, that would hurt. Gray Arrow. I like him too. For just a guy with a bow, he's pretty cool. Flash is okay. Thunder of the gods, Flash. Thunder of the gods. What does that make us? Doomsday. Superman has to beat him. Yep. I compare. I'm, I actually think a lot of people have made this comparison. Superman's like Goku in Dragon Ball Z. Like you got your fighters, and like if they fight a super powerful villain, no one can do anything until. Goku gets there, in this case, Superman. 
Wait a second. Okay, this is gonna be completely random and Bane! I'm sure I'm wrong. But is Lex Luthor voiced by that guy from Third Rock from the Sun, the old guy? Do you guys hear it? Am I crazy? I'm probably crazy. No way that's well it could be him. I I, I thought well, I don't wanna say like, oh he should be dead, but he's gotta be old. But it just sounds like him. Maybe it's just someone that sounds like him. Martian Manhunter in the background. I was actually a little sad that he wasn't a playable character. But Martian Manhunter as a person himself, I think is incredibly powerful. At least, I've watched Justice League and he can, like, do some pretty incredible things. He's a shapeshifter mainly, I think. But he can shapeshift and take their power, so I think theoretically he can be, like, Superman or someone stronger than Superman. Okay, I'm on normal. And maybe I should up the difficulty. See, I also like that, like, uh, there's little custom talks when you wager it, god dang it. And, break the bat, you know, that's, that's Bane's thing, that's how people know him probably the most, is breaking the bat, pick it up and throw it, there you go. Oh, also, you could tap E, and little, everyone has their, like, little custom power, minor bats, and I can throw them at Bane for extremely minor damage. Kick him, and uppercut, and, what, what should I win with? Uh, uppercut. That's how I always won in the old Mortal Kombat arcade games, uppercuts. I spammed them. Oh, um, amazing little uh, mini games, I guess, if that's what you want to call this. I get the button mash. Yes. <clears throat> and like, you, uh, you can do damage to them before the battle even starts. <coughs> I'm working with a, like a second delay here, so... Damn you! Hey. Hey. Lex, Lex, let's just talk about this, you know. Ah, I don't know if I did the best I could possibly do. Okay, I did like, uh, dang, I actually did- Whoa! Why am I starting with low health? Kick him! Uppercut! Throw! <laughs> in multiplayer, that's like, I don't know, it just seems like a good combo that I've used, and it seems to work. I don't use, like, hero powers, like, as much as I should. Because, you know, batterings are neat. Maybe it's just Batman's. And this does something. Sets him on fire! And we're gonna... Oh, Lex's ability is kind of... It's good, but I don't like it. He, like, has a shield that makes him invulnerable to, like, one single attack. It's actually pretty good. They all have something really cool about them. Like, what they, like either their super looks cool, or they have some good abilities, or their beat button attack is really good. I think it's pretty well balanced, except maybe Superman. <clears throat> I have noticed... And that's joke in multiplayer, but that's just spamming, and anyone can do that. Yay, EMP. Dooms? Can they just... Oh, they, I don't know. They don't kill. But, yeah. Joker and Harley Quinn. Oh yeah. I was gonna complain about Joker. It's not a complaint, it's just a personal... I wanted Mark Hamill to voice Joker. I'm used to him. This guy's good, but... Oh, I guess that's it. He's good. But he can't do the laugh. Super high-pitched crazy laugh. But that's the only complaint I have about the Joker. Character has himself pretty good. Damn. 
Because he secretly loves Batman. I don't understand why he would want to. Let's say we have one last dance. Uh, why would he want to blow? I, I don't know. Gotham, because this is Metropolis. Ha, ah, he's too badass to be a human, I swear. Alright, this is a good place to stop. Uh, thanks for watching. Pretty, pretty epic start so far. Yeah, maybe I should up the difficulty a bit. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.